back at home. Your 13th first floor forecast now with Brian Schofield. And our issue is wind, but it looks sunny behind you right there. It looks good, right? But if you step out, it feels a little different, right? You get that wind chill. There is a wind chill uh, because we got the wind and we have the chill, which has been in place. But the wind is coming out of the southwest, so it's not really that strong northerly flow that is on the way to the valley. That'll make it feel even more blustery. Yeah, that's the setup, right? That's your 13th first alert. It's going to feel colder. <laughs> that's your first alert. So look at that. The direction of these arrows, southwest, and it's very strong throughout even the early evening hours. So we're keeping sustained winds to 20 or so and then gusts to maybe even 40 before the night is over. So keep that in mind. Now that's our wind planner for tonight. Watch tomorrow. We'll throw in Henderson there. We get more of a northerly component and that's uh, the wind not as strong, but nevertheless, it'll feel colder than today. And because a colder air will come in and drop temperatures down a little bit. And also that wind, that's the northerly flow that we keep talking about. That's what it feels just plain blustery and, and bone chilling. So we'll be seeing that for tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're still cold no matter what today. If you walk out and about some areas not getting as much wind as others, but that's kind of the way it works. You're not seeing much activity. Remember, we've been talking about a hint at some flurries. Well, the coldest air is still up to the north. That's what's twisting around right here. The Sierra is ringing out a lot of that, so we won't get much of that. But let me show you what we could get. I'll tell you, these uh, future cast models are usually dead on. Right now, they've been all over the place. We know the mountains will have a good shot at that, not the valley so much. But watch in the next, uh, let's say, tomorrow, late morning, afternoon. That's when we start to get some leftover moisture swing through and we could just get enough of that transition to pull out some flurries. Wouldn't that be nice to see or even a light snow shower in some of the outlying areas, maybe some of the upper elevations. If you get that, send those pictures in. We want to promote it. We want to talk all about it on the air for tomorrow because we haven't seen that in a long time. We haven't really seen much rain in a long time, but to get even a little bit of snow near the valley would be nice to get a little kiss from that. So either way, we've got 30s overnight, 50s for afternoon highs. The temperatures tomorrow actually drop down a little bit as well. Plus we get that wind in. I should put the word wind in because it still will be be breezy to borderline gusty even for the start of the weekend another system comes through and yet another by the middle of next week notice once we try to get into those 60s they get slammed right back down again into the 50s because of each cold system that comes through back to you guys